welcome back to episode two. So let's continue. Sun is coming up over there, as you can see. <coughs> but we are going to push further out this time into different hunting grounds. I like to collect boxes until lunch time. So the hunting and trees after lunch. Boxes and normal resources before lunch. So, what's that? Realistically, it's about 30 minutes. So it's about 15 minutes of hunting and plants, and then 15 minutes ish of wood cutting boxes. Split the other way round. You know what I mean. Unscripted adventures, it should be called. Certainly don't script them. And I prefer to do this live commentary as we're playing, rather than record it with no sound and then add the sound in later. You get better reactions if we do this. So the reason I can't walk is I've got no protein, or I can't run. If I walk for a while it will generate some, but not a lot, and it won't sustain. A little bit cold and wet as we swam over. So we will need a wolf at some point just because we want to get up our protein massively. Uh, bears not yet. Bear wants we get a shotgun. So our stanimus regenning. <clears throat> we can get one of those big trees that's got the tree grub. That'll give it a little bit of protein which will be worth having. Nails in there which is good. Got a little bit of runnability now. My suggestion is that you keep walking and save your run. If you hold down shift to run, you double tap shift. But you just tap shift and you'll run. You save that for when you've got to outrun an animal. I'm going to do this one because we need the tree grub. Eat that. Gives us a little bit of protein. Is that a chicken? Too early to hunt it, unfortunately. Even though we could do with the food off it. So we're going to push out into that area a little bit, or up there. So when we get there. Depends what predators bump into us. So we can run a little bit now. And all the time you're observing. Now you'll learn where the certain trees are and where boxes are likely to spawn in. I can see a wolf over there. He's still level one, which is good. I'm gonna push this way. looking for items I can pick up. I'm not, never going to hit every one. And you always miss some. Either because you just don't see them, or because they're protected by a predator. 
Uh, rabbits so far don't give. They give a little bit of meat. They give nothing else. You don't. You can't rebuild arrows off rabbit bones. So I tend not to bother with them. Stanima's going right down again. How's the sun? Eleven o'clock ish. Wolf. Stay clear of Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna push up through this area. We'll do a complete circle. And then when we come back, then we'll start hunting and chopping wood. that there we'll stay clear of got away nicely otherwise they'll start walking after you um, if you get too close then they'll run and they'll attack and you'll die unless you've got the right weapon to fight them and the right, all the right stamina and enough arrows to dance around them while firing the occasional arrow. Up there. Push down this way. Boxes are what we're really after, or any resources that we can use, so these are useful. really this first run you probably want chickens if you can get them so is that a level two yeah so it's a level two there so it's killed something over there now it might be seeds which you can use later on to grow carrots or it might be a carrot that you can eat at this point we hope we can eat it we can't that you can sun is 12 o'clock okay so now we're going to start making our way home you get deer over there. I wouldn't hunt a deer with a bow. I'm not a good enough shot to, and you have to pursue them. You need headshots. I'll wait till I've got a weapon. And we don't need venison yet. So deer antlers give you glue. And glue is useful for building stuff later on. Um, but we're too early game really to worry about that. There's a chicken. That was stupid. So I'm used to shooting on different games. And it'll run off so I've wasted that arrow if you find the arrow you can pick it up if it doesn't break but see another one we must get it so we must up our arrow intake for a wolf but I might do it closer to the base to a better chance of preserving it now yeah, we've got carrots to eat that time or you could extract the seed but at this point we're going to eat them
Now, the game's not hugely popular, but they've sold a, just shy of a million copies, I believe, in the time it's been up. Quite a few years it's been around now. But for, for a one-off developer, for the no team, just him on his own, one hell of a game, if you're into survival. So we are moving home, but slowly. I want to get as much resources as possible, and we're going to need meat. Don't really want to trigger a predator at the moment. When we get down to our sort of circle of the island, then I'm willing to go after an animal. Also because if we die, I know where my body's going to be. Didn't get a lot of boxes on this run. We only got two nails, which is terrible for a I run like this. But at least if we get a wolf, we'll have some reasonable food to play with. Set us up nicely for episode three. saving them but we need the stanima we'll certainly get that tree grub up there if we can that little bit of protein will make a massive difference First chicken. Now it's still alive, so you can later on have a chicken coop and get eggs from them, or better quality meat. But you need that. You then need to feed them. better now wolf is sorry bear is not something that we can go after we're not good enough to do that yet we're gonna need a wolf we need the meat off it Chicken, well, nice, won't get us, won't keep us alive very long. Give me nails, come on. That'll do. We're starting to make our way home. Heard a chicken. Can we see it? That'll be a no then. But I do see a box or a bag over there that I'd like to get.
nails. Excellent. Butchered that one. One piece of breast meat. Right then, our first predator. So. I, didn't, I had to cut myself then. I had to bandage myself. Now we'll cut the thing up. One steak, three fat. Let's go and wash our hands before we get ill. Now we can start to make our way home we're out of spare ammo. We've only got two arrows left. We've got one chicken, so that's four arrows we'll have. So a few more chickens would be good on the way home. Rabbit, don't count. I'm gonna swim across to there and go down that side. We know we've got about 13-ish minutes until night time. We've got two bits of protein to cook and eat now, which is good. probably get one more wolf but that will use an arrow up to trigger it and then three rounds if it's a level one to kill it so I prefer to have a chicken because we need the arrows back There is a box there. See Crouch. See if we trigger him. We didn't. Back off. And stand up. Simple sorts. Now, I think there's a chicken down there. just a rabbit but we could do that other box so we're gonna and there's metal there so what is it level three we'd like a lot more ammo which we don't have spare you want to dodge that bear Hold down left hand mouse button when you're cutting these.
we'll swim across to our island where we'll cut down all the trees and get any boxes we find and resources. Meat's not gone off yet, which is good. We'd like another chicken if possible. So we're going to have a little look on the beach. We've got about five minutes before we have to make our way home. As long as we don't go too far. Another chicken would give us four arrows. So we still have six arrows. So we would have broken even. for a chicken. I don't need meat, eat food to eat. The box over there, two bags over there. One wolf to my left flank, right flank next to a bear. That bag will have. there. That one might be a bit more difficult. Okay, we'll leave that one alone. Don't want to use the resources up. Sun's starting to set, so need to be planning to going home. We didn't get another chicken, which is a shame. Okay, so I don't want to get caught out in the cold. Because we'll use up more calories. Let's eat that to get home. Go home and get this food cooked. And we'll, while we're doing that, we'll also produce that lot. And that lot. Not all of it. them or them actually will do two of them take two of them off because I need to show you something else
the way across. We'll do this island for resources before we go back and cook. Wary of that meat going off. Just time that right with the sun setting. Bit of nine milli, which is useful. So, meat goes on. We need a fire brick in there. And ignite. Now watch it, because if the meat burns, it's no good for you. We need to make some nine mil. We get two types of meat level so it will cook to medium or I think or basic however they refer to it we'll see when we get there and then it goes to like properly cooked and it's better or you can set, later on you can actually put it into dishes we're also going to need water so that's basic level it's changed colour but we're going to cook it fully So it's medium at the moment. That's fully done. As soon as the yellow and green bits appear on it, or whatever colour it is, then you know it's... See our protein bars going up a little bit for the chicken? Not massively, but a little bit. There it is. So now if you hover over it, it'll tell you it's got... It gives you seven... Plus and plus anima. And that's going to push us up to about here somewhere. Or there. <clears throat> but massive compared to where we were. Now let's fill up our water. That reboiled. Now we need to make some arrows. We need more ammo if it lets us. Pushing our things away. So we wanted to talk some of this stuff, didn't we? So, the fire lighting. One biofuel, some fibres and some sticks will work like matches. So it's worth having those. You won't have an infinite supply of matches. One of the things I like to do is have these in my inventory early on so I can see how many I've picked up as I'm running around. Basically we're just waiting for that stuff to build. And then rinse and repeat. platform now.
We're going to go that way. Three. We're going to do a, a nine. Three by three. It's my standard build. And then go up from there. You can also, as I say, make clothing and repair it. So it'll give you better protection. It, nails is a problem. That's why I said it's all about nails. You want to pick an item up, hover over it, and hold down the end button on your keyboard. Well, then let you move it round and replace it. If you hold down delete on your keyboard, it will do what it says and delete it with the contents. So be careful. So once again, Hold down end. When it goes red like that, you can release end, move it to where you want it, place it, and then left hand mouse button, pop it down. Now we're getting building the good stuff, the ammo and the arrows. A bit warm in here, I can put the air con on, even though it's November. PC's pushing out heat on this. This game is not a massively well all optimized so my GPU is running at 76 CPU at 69 PC does push out some heat. Case is a little bit warm. And I'm playing this on a 3080. Though it will work happily on a 1660 Ti and below. That's why I started off playing this game on a 1660. minutes of sun coming up so use night time for producing stuff basically move that one out of there so it'll put the piece inside there just to place it and the items snap once you're at your first one in and we'll glitch into the ground so they'll look right so stairs and things okay and you just put it there if you're like me and you want it the wood planks facing the right way there and we've expanded the base sun is starting to come up Let's see a box we get before we worry before the end of the episode 
that one. Might get arrows. We didn't, but we got feathers. So we got arrows in a roundabout way. Which is massive. Let's go back and get them made. Ah, we've only got one of them, so we're going to need some more wood. those arrows so 10 arrows and that's it for this episode I'll see you for the next one